Did you hear about Vice President-elect Mike Pence checking out the Broadway show Hamilton? Surprise, surprise, he was booed by the crowd. Then the cast lectured him. Nice. Vice President-elect Pence, we welcome you and we truly thank you for joining us here at Hamilton and American Musical. We really do. We, sir, we are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us. Our families, our children, our parents, or defend us and uphold our inalienable rights, sir. But we truly hope that this show has inspired you to uphold our American values and to work on behalf of all of us. All of us. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you're so smart. Oh, now, if you expect any of us to flip out, I'm not going to. I'm no baby. I don't need a safe space. I'm used to the right being singled out by entertainers. Actors seem brave and unpredictable, but they're as spontaneous as a tax return. However, this was lame. Imagine a right-wing doctor in a very sensitive visit. He's got his head down deep in a pelvic exam and suddenly pops up and says, before I tell you what you have, Mrs. Kane, you need to know how the left has ruined our nation's inner cities. <laughs> That's what these actors did. They violated the terms of service. The customer, when he this is your work, makes a pact. Once you violate it, the manners we take for granted in society, they fall apart. No one wants a lecture when you're getting a latte. So if you get one without asking, isn't that grounds for some discipline? But libs work by different rules, especially their entertainers. Comedians attack their own audience for not agreeing with them. Singers demand that you vote like them. And musicians throw fits if a Republican uses their songs. Mm -hmm. How odd that the proponents of free expression think free only applies to them. But even better, that the one thing these actors didn't want happened. They made Mike Pence look good. <laughs> Speaking of, here's uh, Mike Pence reacting to this on another program. It was a real joy to be there. And, you know, when we arrived, we heard we heard a, a few boos and we heard some cheers. And I nudged my kids and reminded them that's what freedom sounds like. And uh, uh, but at the end, I, you know, I, I did hear what was said uh, from the stage. And I can tell you, I, I wasn't offended by, by what was said. I'll leave to others whether that was the appropriate venue to say it. Eric, that was a great response. Great response. Uh, so much to talk about about this. Uh, the actor, Brandon Victor Dixon, said that this was a discussion. Well, wasn't it a discussion <laughs> when you stand on a stage with the only microphone and the other person in the discussion sitting in the audience with his daughter and his daughter's yeah. friends or cousins? That was ridiculous. So the crowd was worse than, than the actor. Um, and I'm all for free speech. I'm all for that. Uh, the, his ideas. I think his ideas are fantastic. But deliver those, not I, those ideas not on Broadway, not in, in, to, to an audience that can't, or to a person that can't even respond, delivered on MSNBC where they belong. Yeah. You know, um, the person you got to listen to as an authority, Stevie Van Zandt from uh, Bruce Springsteen's East Street Band, was one of the first people that you know, fought against apartheid who wrote the song Sun City. He tweeted this out, uh, there has never been a more outspoken, politically active artist than me. He was their guest. You protect your guest. Don't embarrass them. Then the second tweet, a guy comes to a Broadway show for a relaxing night out. Instead, he gets a lecture from the stage, not a level playing field, which is what you were saying, Eric. It's bullying. Is it bullying, Kimberly? Yeah. Is it's it too a, far? I just think it's bad form. I wasn't impressed at all. I'm super excited to keep my $1,400 <laughs> that I wasn't going to spend per there. Seat, seat. Honestly, yeah. I mean, they're just so arrogant, so self-important. I'd rather watch, like, reruns of Narcos or something. <laughs> you know? I yeah. mean, honestly. And, and to say that, Mike Pence is such a kind man, and he's so dignified. He's a class act. And it just, to me, really was another opportunity for him to demonstrate how to handle things properly and I felt bad because he's there you know with his daughter etc it's like but nevertheless he rose to the occasion he was vice presidential and for people to see the way he reacted um, with greatness and um, with dignity in the face of smallness. Geraldo, yeah, how about the other side of this? Could You know, the uh, protesters and activists always say they're doing it in the name of the greater good. In this case, Mike Pence is against gay marriage. So they're saying, like, if this guy's in our house, this is our opportunity to point out his intolerance. Why should we be tolerant? Well, first of all, let me just, without being condescending to people from the West Coast, <laughs> let me just suggest that New York is a town that's a rough town. I mean, yeah. you go to Yankee Stadium, everybody gets booed at Yankee Stadium. And this is the most political place on Broadway. Um, this is this is everybody in that building is Jewish, gay, Latino, and or black. 
Uh, everybody in that building voted for Hillary Clinton. It's as if Hillary Clinton walked on the stage of the Country Music Awards. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, very sensitive. Immigration is a big issue uh, with Hamilton, who was an immigrant from uh, the Virgin Islands up to uh, to the United States, and he made his fortune. And immigrants can get the job done. And in New York, you can be a new man. My family loves this play. And in, in terms of uh, Judge Janine leading the campaign to boycott Hamilton, New Yorkers are cheering because. Will become available for less than the $1,400 <laughs> right. that like they currently sold, cost. They're sold out, except for the, you know the brokers the and stuff for $1,400, so they feel they can get away with it and like thumb their nose at everybody. I think I DVR'd the PBS special. Really? That's how I watched it. Yeah, it was wow. great. Well, not the whole I mean, Juan saw it. That was it. Do you find it funny that I mean, actors are probably the most. Uh, uh, living in a bubble world and coming out and talk about it being inclusive. Have you ever been around an actor, a young actor? They're not entirely inclusive. Well, and then he says it was a spontaneous conversation, but yeah. he, he read his statement off of a, an iPhone yes. at the end of the play. The other thing is, President Obama, in his, when he first ran for president in 2008, both he and Hillary Clinton said that they were against gay marriage, that yeah. they believed that marriage was between a man and a woman. And I don't think Broadway said a word yes. about either of them in that first term at all. The other thing is that Donald Trump has said he thinks that issue is done, over with. He's not pursuing it. Game so, yeah. yes, and so Mike Pence isn't going to do it either. So give it a rest. Yeah, there you go. But I th isn't the isn't the bottom line that Pence went through the storm and emerged as the as the big person in the room? Right. Yeah. So yeah. It, doesn't it have a happy ending? So yeah. the yeah, the yeah. right should not be outraged. Here you. Well, we're he no, was, we he was, he was yeah. tested <laughs> by the hardest crowd. Uh, well, you know, the toughest uh, stage. Here's in Here's how tough it was. Don't forget Hamilton. The the the, the um, cast of Hamilton did a fundraiser for Hillary Clinton. Remember right. that? Right. You can't even touch a ticket and here. She was and they there and they raised money. Yeah. And stuff yeah. like that. Lynn Miguel Miranda. That was the, that was the, that was first. that was Pence's definitely away the away yeah, stadium. Yeah, he was, was like his home sticks and stones will break my bones, but, but words I mean, will never hurt me. The left should learn that when they when you outnumber somebody. They generally win because everybody sympathizes with uh, David and not Goliath.